HO scale modelers, why do you hide your staging area, your rail yard? Uh, my rail yard is the main focal point of my layout. My basement is 30 feet by 30 feet. So basically from that corner there to that corner way over there is 30 feet. And my rail yard is actually 20 feet long from here all the way over to here. And above it, I have a Montana Rail Link branch line. It isn't done yet. I'm better at painting locals than I am scenery. I got involved with honeybees big time, and I don't have much time to spend on my layout doing scenery. Um, I do paint locals. I've painted a lot of locals over the years. And this right here is one that I painted this Sioux. It's got the ditch lights. But we're in the rail yard and we're not going to use our ditch lights. We got our headlight dimmed and this train is getting broke down and parking into the yard. So I like a lot of trains, rolling stock, and I like a lot of locomotives. So in order to do that, I need to have big rail yards. This is my upper yard. And I have three engine yards. This is an engine yard. And over here is another engine yard. A lot of these locals I painted. I painted that one, this one, this one, and this one here I, I customized. This is the Cato. Gave it the white face and the white stripe. Um, this is my lower yard. It goes from over there all the way around. And I left opening areas so I could, I could see and actually move freight around and hook it if it isn't hooked up. Made it accessible, basically. And it comes out over here. And this is the end of my Montana Rail Link branch line. And that ties into my layout over here at my lumber facility. And you see how I, I had this. This is the first part of my layout right here. And the, the Montana Rail Link branch line was an add-on later. So I cut it into the side of my mountain. And last winter I finished these uh, tessels, yeah, trestles. They're a little bit oversized, but it was easier to work with larger pieces of wood than smaller. And then it was cut into uh, the plaster here. And I'm going to do concrete embankment here on this to make it look like it was an add-on later by the railroad. Cut into the side of the mountain. So that ties in right here to my layout. And down below I have a... Uh, well, I have an inner, inner mold up above here and goes all the way around and then I have a larger one down below I don't have any my jacks yet but this is a this is quarter inch underlayment with different shades of gray I don't know how that got there and then I have a siding down here for my coal train or any other train and then my main lines tie in over there and there's not a lot of room so there's really no scenery back there this is only like 10 inches from here to here and I have a rope light down here. So, um, yeah, this is Intermogul. And over here is an industrial commercial area. Uh, this is plaster with, with gray paint on it, trying to make it look like concrete. This didn't do so well here. And this is my auto plant. And these are my auto rail cars. And that's the big grain facility there. And over there was a petroleum plant. And this right here is the end of my upper intermobile yard. And these locals here, a majority of all these locals I painted. So, um... Basically, the rail yard is the basic 
focal point. I make up trains. Well, I make first. I make up the consists the different locos. And post BNF mer BNSF merger is great for modeling. You have different types of locos you could use. It. You can always add a lease unit. And I like to have one railroad from one loco from every railroad. So that's why you see a lot of different railroads here. So anyway, you make up the consists, and then you uh, you make up the train. And then my layout is over six miles long from one point to the other, but you're going to end up at the lower yard within two miles. So if you have a mile long train and it's for HO scale, a half mile is basically 30 feet. So if I had a train from that corner there to that corner over there, it'd be a mile long. And by the time that end of that train got to there, it'd be down to the rail yard. So it's my layout really isn't for long distance mainline action it's mostly for uh oh yard action locomotives and uh and here's my son's locos here they're all they're all uh he doesn't have his own place yet and i don't know if he ever will because the rich people have screwed the younger generations there's there's over 200 some locomotives down here in this layout and majority of them have decoders these don't all have decoders here but quite a few of them do but the ones on the layout have decoders. And keeping track of a loco, trying to find a certain one, it takes a while to find it. And I have a model rail power product shell here. I'm looking for a Atlas C40W shell or CW40 shell, however that goes. And this right here is a uh, Kato GP35. And I do have oh I did those two there and I did this Coslo for my son that has a decoder and that's real fun to watch that go around and then I got this one last winter um, I wanted the this is an Amtrak originally a Santa Fe bought it and it doesn't have a walkway on the front for the for the crew the pilot to get up on the under the front of it and I uh, got this one real cheap so I got to cut it down um, I'm cutting it making putting the steps in it to make the actual pilot and it's gonna be 69.69 so it's a good project when I have time and there's some more locos that I did they don't have decoders yet so and there's some more Montana rail link I painted all of my Montana rail link except for one loco an Atlas SD35 the rest of them I painted all of them and I already said oh this right here is my upper Montana rail link yard they don't have a lower yard they tie into the BNSF yard when they come down to the lower or if they're over there so basically that's it um, make your rail yard the focal point of your layout and you can have all kinds of fun don't hide it especially your clubs don't hide it from the public because it's always impressive to see a lot of trains in one area. It's, it's more fun to have lots of trains on your layout and see all of them together. It's, you know, like for instance, that. Doesn't it look cool? See all those locals there like that, you know? Okay, thank you.